Hey, everybody. Hey, we started to today. We've got on this hangout with us Chin, Amy, and Cece. Uh, Cece can't stay for too long, can you, Cece, this today? Cece? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just putting the hey, headphones on. You're at work <laughs> and you've joined us, but we're going to have another hangout in a couple of days to make up for today. But you've just joined Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, how's things going then? I said, put your video out. Brilliant video. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that, Karen. Um, yeah, no, it, it, here in in New York, it's uh, it's total mayhem at, at this point. I mean, it's uh, we've got closed beaches. Um, you're allowed to go to the beach if you'd like and walk around on the sand, sit down in the sand with a towel if you'd like. Um, now, these are the state beaches. I'll get into very quickly with the, uh, uh, you know, state, you know, the, the town beaches like Babylon, Long Island, uh, those areas. But I mean, on the state beaches, you can actually go there, sit on the sand. Um, they're going to cut off the parking and limit it to 50 percent, which is next to impossible down there, because <laughs> if you really think about it, most people can just go park in the grass if they want to. So I, I'd like to see how they're going to how they're going to control that. Um, and I, I mean, it's just, it's now the, the beaches that I go to are actually the town of Babylon. Now the town of Babylon don't want people from, uh, out of town. So if you're not a resident, that oh. beach is closed. You can't go to it. Totally gone. You, you can't even walk through the beach if you want to. So basically, you see the politician. So basically this COVID thing is seg all about segregation. That's all it is. Just segregation yeah, exactly. one way or another. Absolutely. You or me. It's segregation. Yeah. yeah. It's it's segregation. It's taking um your pride away from you, basically, your business, your work, um, taking away uh giving your own daughter a hug now at this point, mm. now that everybody is secluded in their apartment, but they're hearing that everybody, you know, you got to keep away from everybody, six feet worth of distance. She can't even see any of her friends. I mean, you, could you could you see what what, what, what this is doing it's to ridiculous. the kids that are it's under... Damaging. Damaging. It, 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 absolutely, Jen. Absolutely. This is, this is damaging to every child out there. And I really feel bad for families that have kids that are young that can't interact with their friends anymore, I, except on Zoom or, or, you know, on social networking. I mean, come on, really, you know? I know. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so they're they're starting to promote dinner party, but you're in your own home, so you'll just be an icon on a computer screen. They're mm -hmm. starting to promote doing things as separate people. Oh, yeah. You're in your home watching yes. it, pretending yeah, you're at a dinner party. Oh, I Absolutely. Know. And, and all the proms that are that, that are supposed to be happening, gone, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, the graduations. The what about the drive through uh, graduations now? Oh, so you God. drive up, you get your diploma <laughs> and you drive off. I, yes. I, <laughs> that's hysterical, Jen. I just got an email from the county executive, you know, because they send it to all the, you know, residents of, uh, of Westchester County. And they, and they said they're going to do a... Um, a virtual prom and a mm. virtual graduation. <laughs> all, all the tuxedo companies out of business now. They're all done. I mean, they're, they're, you know this is it. I've thought about it. Maybe you could just become a, a, a comedian now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, really, I mean, but where do you go? That's right. <laughs> you can't go I'm anywhere. Like Everything's closed. Virtual comedian. It's, it's, yeah. it's Pay me at my PayPal account. It really is just so, I mean, it's so comical how these politicians get into their position and they just completely destroy every, this, New York City is destroyed at this point. Oh, yeah. that even, I mean, my friend calls me you up. Know? Yeah, it's it, totally done. I mean, it, everything is shut down. There's nobody walking on the streets. There is nothing going on down there. No, at all it, the, the level of hype is unbelievable, man. You hmm. can peel it off the wall. Yeah. It's that bad. Yes. Yeah. And, oh. This happened in 1918. Oh. Why weren't we prepared for it? I mean, why weren't we prepared for something that happened almost, you know, 102 years ago? And then all of a sudden, 2020, it came back up and we're totally not prepared. We're shutting down the entire Trump. Our president just done. said that yeah. if we had if we had by it, design, isn't it? Obviously, it's yeah, done well, by design. he even said if there's a second wave, screw you. We're not shutting down the country. 
It's the politicians. Yes. That are, you know, that's what... That's it's all crap saying. anyway. I mean, look, that's just stupid talk because they're not going to shut it down. Any, this is all done by design. Mm -hmm. All done yeah. by design, man. You know, there was no coronavirus killing people. Right. It's just lies. No, it's nothing. It's a flu. It's all overhyped. Government overreach. That's what's happened. Yeah. Okay? It's, it's, it's all come out now. It's biblical proportions that that I have that I'm we seeing here. We prisoned ourselves overnight. We didn't even need the police or the soldiers. We all did it ourselves. We just surrendered mm -hmm. overnight. Exactly. Exactly, Karen. Everybody just surrendered. And the stupid thing is, is that I remember our mayor before the mayor that's out there right now. Um, I believe. Uh, let me just think what it, the hell his name was. Yeah. I can't think of it off the top of my. Oh, Bloomberg. Yeah, I, Bloomberg. Mayor Bloomberg. Oh yeah, that's right. Mayor Bloomberg, yeah, who was running for president right with his money. Uh, yeah, yeah, good luck <laughs> yes. with that one. <laughs> um, right, right at the end, he, uh, um, I, I tried to pass a uh, law that twenty ounce. Uh, oh, oh, hold on, I'm sorry, I just said. Okay, um, he tried to pass that law about um, twenty ounce sodas. He was trying to ban that so nobody down in the city could drink 20 ounce sodas. And everybody <laughs> got in such a yeah, uproar. Yeah. And then I tell people, you know, look at you now. You know, look at you now. I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable, yes. you know, uh, how it's, it's just com completely destroyed a, a state and, and a country yeah. world. That's right. I mean, I don't. You can't trust that mayor at all. His eyes, his eyes are too close together, and everything he says. <laughs> if, you, if you're going out on the street, you're risking my life. Yeah, life. Oh, it's thanks. the, it's the biggest joke. I mean, it really is. I, 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 it's quite I a just. Heavy thing to put on someone, isn't it? Yeah. You, you make me ill. You make yeah, me ill. Don't yeah. go out. No. And it's all over it's the beating be tower. Fair. You know that in England we've got the BT Tower. It says, "Stay at home, save the NHS." Or that does crap. it say that? Does it say that? Yes, it does. Yes, yes. it does. Wow, I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna look that up. Mm. Uh, and I, I was telling you guys um, that uh, uh, what I saw today was just unbelievable. Um, and this is new here. Now, not the you know the, the face masks, the gloves. We we've come accustomed to see these sheep will walk around with that. But I actually saw somebody today that had. Um, Covers on his shoes. The med listen, it's so confusing and contradicting because oh. you've got the medical saying, "Why don't you leave the masks and everything to us?" Because now there's a shortage of masks. Oh. I'm those, I'm like, what? What is this? <laughs> That's what right. I said in my video because they, they didn't they didn't plan for this. How are they going to uh, manufacture three hundred million masks? They can't. So now you know, just grab whatever the hell you can. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> latest news on masks: two designs have come up. One that opens up and you can eat your food and all that. I'm getting in. I made yes. my sense. Uh, John Leonard from uh, he's living in England. He sent it through, right? And then the other That's one is hysterical. They're, they're designing a new transparent mask. So it doesn't look so threatening, you know? <laughs> so you can see through it. You can see the mouth talking. But you see, this is obviously they're planning for long term because now we're having companies that are inventing these new masks. So this is not something that's going to go away tomorrow. You know, no, this is something, no. obviously something long term. Uh, Absolutely. They're, they're planning for two years of this nonsense. They, 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 they Guess what they said? For things to go back to normal, like the economy, will take 12 years. They said uh, 12 years. Oh, easy. I, I mean, I, I 12 years I, to go back to February's level, back in February's level. Of yeah, this is what's really this getting year. me. They're so pushing the coronavirus when really they should be yeah. pushing the economy as well. I mean, we're in a deep recession right now. We've all got deep. our cars. We'll be riding around in these cars for the next five, 10 years. We're only at the beginning of this. We're not at the end of it. We're at the beginning of something else. I mean, every, everybody's going to lose right. their job, so we're going to be going back to horse and carriage days. I mean, it's like we're going to be going back to the 1800s. Nobody's going to be able to afford gas in their car. I mean, you know, we've got leases, we've got mortgages. Oh, shit everywhere, my word. Oh, my God, I'm stepping over. Yeah, because they're subsidizing everything right now, right? So we're all all right right now. Most of us will get grants or whatever it is or benefits. But we're, I'm talking of. A year's time. Let's come back in a year's time and have a hangout and see where we are and what's happening. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I know. We're not looking, we're not looking I'm ahead right now. We're only looking, looking at each bills. day. I'm probably going to have a bill to pay. I won't be able to get on. Can't pay the bills, you know? <laughs> Yes, yeah, we're well, yeah. only looking at today, but let's look in a year's time. We're not talking about... No Wi-Fi. You know, yeah. they're, they're and, going and, on and on and on about this COVID thing, but we're not talking about our economies and what's happening. Either everything's all right and they had the money and what they're doing is just their game, right. or we're in serious trouble. Well, we are. Yeah. We are. Now, what's going on in... Jen, what's going on in your country? Is your government giving you a stimulus package of any sort? Oh, yeah, they're giving stimulus packages to parents who had to, who couldn't work and had to look after their children at home. That's already been received, OK? OK. Small businesses are not getting it. Big businesses are. That's the thing. The, the small businessman okay. is it's, still waiting. Do you, waiting know, how for I, his, do you know how his, I learned that they're not day. opening up till July? Because we went to this restaurant... And I was asking her some questions, this Chinese lady. And basically, she said that their business rates have been paid up till July. She didn't think that the restaurants would be opening till July. And then within a day or two, they're telling us it's July, August. Yeah. It's, it's being pushed up on a, yeah. on a weekly basis here. First, it was May. Now it's June 13th. I love these dates, you know, 6, 13, 20. Um, and, and now... Yes. That's that's their date. That's I think their date now is uh, six thirteen. I think that's when they're planning on doing it. But then they'll come up with something else. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's something that I think is going to really uh, uh, destroy everything that we knew. Uh, yeah, it's gone. I, I've been I've been there now, right. sir, in the laundrette. Right, whilst I'm folding my clothes, because what I have noticed in my community. Uh, where I used to say, well, I'm always saying good morning to people when I'm jogging. They're not, they're not answering. So I say, oh, all right, bad morning. And then I get a reaction. You know what I mean? <laughs> I say good morning to them. I don't get a reaction. Exactly. Bad morning. And then I get a reaction, you know. Yeah, right. So I'm, I'm in the laundry right now and I'm folding my clothes up. And I've noticed that the level of people wearing masks having, has increased now. Everyone's wearing masks now, right? But, you know, I said to people, I asked them. What, what is the possibility of you contracting this, this virus? What's the percentage? Do you know? And none of them knew. So when I told them it was 0.003% to 0.001% chance, then they, was, then they were like, really? Skunai. Well, they used the word uh, yeah. skunai, which means, yeah, rear. It means it? rear, very low, not much. I said, yeah. And they said, no, really? how do you yeah. know? I said, because I've done the right. best. And I watched a few, doc uh, a few doctors who have done the maths for us, okay? Do the research. A 0.003% of, it's no, no chance. So, None so why do you think at I all. I don't wear a mask. I said, why do you think if, I if... don't wear a mask? I said. Can I just say that going out in London last weekend to that mm. park, yeah. there were people wearing masks. But, you know what it before, if you'd gone out the week before, you'd have said, Look at them wearing the mask. Look, they've got them, they've got them, they've got them. When we went to the park, yeah. there was only a small majority wearing masks. So people were protesting as well, really. So they weren't wearing a mask. And, no. and people yeah. I talked to said that they were felt insulted like me. You know, yeah. someone comes yeah. towards you with a mask and they think you're dangerous because you haven't oh, got one on. And you know what I said to them? You know what I said to the people in the laundry? Because as people were coming in, I just kept telling everyone I was coming in. I said, if somebody had uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, and if they spat on you or they coughed on you, you couldn't get it. You couldn't get it even if they spat on you. Do you know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. Jen. Yeah, exactly. It has to be injected. It, this yeah. is not it's something that that is, I mean, yeah, okay, look, you know, the, first of all, the face masks are complete nonsense because the, 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 all they're doing is protecting that person so from something What you we're have. talking about here, CC, is it's chemical warfare on the people. Yeah, exactly. And they, they don't yes. do anything. Yeah. Psychological, psychological chemical warfare. Yeah. Yes. Because they're wrestling it up every single day. This, this morning's news on CNN, right? I heard it on the podcast, okay? Uh, she was saying that, you know, when you speak and you, know, you have these m m minute spray as you speak can travel, listen to this, can travel 18 feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and did you actually oh, see oh. the dying? <laughs> Check us out, Jen. Did you actually see the diagram that they had on CNN? And they show this guy sneezing, and then they have the measurement, and then they <laughs> show it's 22 feet, 24 feet. I mean, it's just, if, if you watch, you're just going to become brain dumb. 
I mean, yep. at this point, if you watch yeah. this stuff and people are watching it, they're just, they don't know, they don't know what to do. They're home. They, they you know, their kids are running around, uh, you know, yep. and, and CNN is on live on their 62 inch freaking uh, flat screen TV flat in the living room. Yes. <laughs> Pancake TV. Yeah, it's mad. It really is ob ob absurd. And then they're saying that uh, more, more importantly, it's the people in, the, in their homes because it's because they're, they're in their homes con uh, talking and con con having conversations. It means that the build up of these sprays and particulates coming out your mouth. You need to go in there and check them. They need to be checked in your house now. There's a higher oh, risk. Wow. There's a higher risk because it's all concentrated in the house. Yeah. Right. yeah. What, what about your car? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Anybody who's oh, in your well, vehicle, you sneeze. Oh, forget it. That's it. You're that's done. The steering, wheel, for God's sake. The, the steering wheel is melting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, what else can we do about this? It's just laugh. I mean, it's I just, know. you know what? Just watch the, watch it's the crazy, people. isn't it? They're basically this. giving us lots of different information that just doesn't add up. It like doesn't. the bit it about doesn't. you can't go outside. Oh, but you go outside for an hour's exercise and to get your shopping. We've been constantly yeah. given miscommunication the whole time. And these people yeah. are... Why aren't we going, hang on, Why, you can't step, be told to stay in your house and go outside for an hour. Right. We need to, we need to stand up. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Bogus rules that everybody's like, like, for instance, I, uh, one of my friends today is a nurse. And I had to tell her, you should know you can't catch a virus. You're a nurse. Yeah. 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 Even the nurses it's... don't know. Okay. And then they turn yeah. around and they say, they're going to open the public schools. Okay, let's let's take a look just very quickly before I go. I want you to look at public schools at this point. How are they? Per, first of all, public schools. Forget about private schools; those are different. Um, public schools themselves, mm -hmm. they pack kids in. That's yeah. their job. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what they have to do. They've got to pack. Okay, and that's the whole reason because they need all that money. And so you've got cafeteria. Okay, that's closed. Bathrooms are closed. Water fountains are closed. So these kids are going to be in school for eight hours a day. They, they don't have access to any food. They've got no access to uh, water. You have to keep them six feet away from each other. How is that That's possible? Right. right. I mean, how are you going to teach, a, 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 you know, a, 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 someone who's in first grade to not bounce around on each other? That's what, that's what kids do. That's what we all do when we were younger. I mean, yes. it's a total disaster. They, don't, they created this, but they didn't look at the ramifications that are going to be actually there's a, actually there's a there's a on the youtube today if you look at it today right there's a there's a uh, a 20 minute by john thor it's called what are we doing to the children okay yeah watch that and it shows you exactly what's happening around the world with children being kept kept segregated in squares in the playground oh, squares yeah. in the playground and that's where they play no other kid can you come in something? we watch they stuff play. like this we called it communism that's yes. what it was. We called That's communism. Yeah, That's what exactly. John yes. said. Exactly. That's what John our, Thor said. Our it's playgrounds aren't even open. They're right, completely, they're taped off. But they have police tape around our, our playground, so you can't even go to them. It's so sad. I mean, it, it really yes. is. It's depressing. It, it is. But well, in our neighborhood... It's absolutely it was... bananas! No, you can't oh, me. We have a small pre playground in our neighborhood, and... Uh, the children have ripped off all the uh, tape Good saying that you can't play there. Good for them, I know. And they're running around playing and they're getting close together. They, Look, they had their little revolution. They're being kids. <laughs> yes. That's that's, excellent. That's, that's way, what look. I want to see. Exactly. <laughs> the so children are ripping things down. Yep. It's telling you, get out there. Yeah. Come yes. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got the Come children on. doing this. It's not the parents. It's the kids. I know. That's yeah. what I love to it's see. Children. You know, I've that's the children. I've got a question. What happened in Michigan with the dam? Because remember, Michigan State was the state that went to the town. They went to this state building with their guns. They mm -hmm. drove their cars up, locked the streets, and showed their strength. Yeah. Now I hear yesterday that a dam, a dam bus, flooded yeah. Michigan. Yeah, and you know what I heard about that, um, and they were interviewing a couple of people on the radio station I listened to in the morning, and uh, we, we have something like that here. Uh, it's in uh, Bahala, New York. It's called the Kensico Dam. It's gigantic. It's huge. Okay. Uh -huh. And I remember one of the uh, – I asked somebody, what would happen if one of these things gave loose? 
And he turned over to me. He's just like, oh, we would all drown. <laughs> You know? So I, 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 I don't know if it, what happened in Michigan. I have no idea. Was that Nine, something they're, that they... They're under nine feet of water at the moment. Wow. People's houses are flooded out. The funny thing is, it's funny how that happened after they showed their strength. That's my point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, this damn... Michigan State, the, the, the citizens stood up and they went armed up with their, their, their rights to carry arms. Yes. <laughs> and they were, yeah. you know, right? Right. And then this happens a couple of weeks later. Exactly, Jim. No, you're absolutely right about that. And that was the, actually Michigan here in, in the U.S. was the first state that actually opened up because people have just and they caused almost. Uh, uh, well, I don't want to say revolution, but most businesses yeah, well, we haircutting. Need... Yeah, well, if you, we should, because that's what it's turning into. Haircutting exactly. places were reopening. Um, you know, bars were reopening like speakeasies back in the 1920s. You know, yeah, come on yeah. in, you know, shut up. <laughs> 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 well, you're talking too loud. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it, but it is suspicious that all of a sudden this dam is now just gone. I mean, how how, how did that happen? These dams were built at back. I mean, you see the one of that. It was a couple of dams, wasn't it? A couple. I'm not sure. I think it, I think you're right. I have to check that out on, online. I'll take a look at it now. I... That damming damming is really bad for the earth anyway. That's what. That's what I've learned mm -hmm. over the years, that putting dams just for economical benefit was wrong, totally, because it's, it's taking water from one place and leaving another place barren. That's what's happening at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. So dams are not that good, to be yeah. honest, even though, they do, even though they do generate electricity, but you're still paying your high bills. So it doesn't really benefit you. Maybe, maybe what it is, it falls into that bit I was trying to tell you, like... Dover, there's the White Cliffs of Dover. If you drive from yeah. Dover to where I am a few hours, you don't really go up and down that many hills. But just past me, there's Swindon. And Swindon's on the top of a mountain. And you drive down the mountain, yeah. it's half a mile, three quarters of a mile. And all the people in Somerset and Devon and Bristol, and they all live down there. And we live up yeah, here on top of Yeah, it's all level down there. It's all flat, isn't it? It's flat. That's why they need dams. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, though. Yeah, I don't know, though. I don't know. No, there's, isn't it? It could have been a better way to do that. I think dams. No, I'm saying that's why they good. that's why they use the dams because they need to get the water. They're telling you it's to stop the water. It's probably to get the water from one area to another area. <clears throat> you know, one's up there and one's down there anyway. They use the dams to cover up the fact that different land levels. Yes. Yeah, and you know, yeah. I, I I take a look at the dam that. that... That was built um, here. I mean, this, I'm also, there's several of them around, um, but one in specific. I took a video on it a long time ago, a couple of years ago. And I mean, this thing is just enormous. It's, it's beautifully built. And I looked it up. This thing was built back in like 1911. You know, I mean, the craftsmanship on this dam is just absolutely incredible. Um, and Tartaria, uh, then. Exactly. I saw your video yeah. the other day. I've spoken about it, about pre-existing technology that, that was just kind of, you know, hidden from all of us. I mean, hell, we didn't, yeah, I mean, we didn't even have weather back from 1870. <laughs> God knows, you know, what was going on before then. But, uh, um, you know, I'm sorry. I, I got to I got to. This guy's ready. I got to Oh, oh okay. do what nice I one, CC. We we'll talked to you on okay, Sunday. Okay, CC. Sunday. CC. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Karen. Yes. Sunday. Absolutely. We look forward Jen, to that. Yeah. Thanks a lot Amy. for joining yeah. us anyway for this bit. Oh, yes. thank you for having me. I'm sorry I could only be here for a short period of time. I wanted Aww. to be here longer, but Aww. All right, guys. Well, cool. I'm well, well, not mom. Sunday for an hour or so, but thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Hope your mom does well. See oh, you thank you, yeah. Amy. I appreciate that. Well. It's really nice oh, of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. All well, right. Take care. All right. I'll see Bye, you. Bye, Dylan. I'll Bye, see you in CC. a couple Bye, of days. Bye-bye. Bye, Dylan. Yeah, catch up with you on Sunday, CC. Nice. Yes. Absolutely, Jen. I'm looking forward yeah. to it. All right, guys. Have a good weekend. I'll you see you on Sunday. Cece. Is he going? Is he gone? I can't tell. Yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. tell. He's gone now. Well, hey, yeah, interesting got... point. These dams that they've that have been built over the years. I just think that I think they've harmed Earth than more than anything else. They've harmed the land. Well, they've done that really even so because them. they're lying about everything, so they're harming it from the beginning on purpose. Right. Yeah. And its people. Yeah, that's right. And its people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm. Hmm. I wanted to put out. Like, I'll just do my question, and then I'm opening up the floor for every. You know, you and Amy, <laughs> yeah, Jean and Amy to talk. But yeah, I've go on, yeah, you've got something you wanted to talk about. Yeah, I I've been putting a bit out with Richard D. Hall, and he's talking a lot about subversion, the media demonetizing, demoralizing. In fact, you know the the system they used in Russia seems to be the system they're losing everywhere. And it is yeah. a form of communism. But anyway, he in one of his talks, which I obviously couldn't find, but it's a good part of one of his talks, he said, you've got an island, and on the island there are 10 people, and each person has a £1,000, so the island's worth £10,000. Now, two immigrants come to the island, one with 10000 and one with nothing. Now, I've already asked Jean and Amy, but I'm asking people to think, which one would you pick? The one with 10000 or the one with nothing. Yes. Uh, or you guys in the chat room, what do you think in the chat? You know? Right. Yeah. Okay, that, that's long enough because we are on a on a hangout and we can't wait and we can't see their answers. But you actually pick the one with nothing. Because once you allow that person with ten thousand pounds in, he has completely de de demonetized your society for you. He's D D what's the word I said? I've forgotten it now. D you know, he's made your current yeah. He's made your currency worth nothing, nothing now because he's D, D what's the name you. But if you pick the one with nothing, he valued, that's it. Yeah. If you pick the one with nothing, he he needs to eat, work, sleep, buy clothes, the whole thing. He helps the economy. So this is why they're letting thousands of people in because these people help the economy. Yes. So, yeah. So all the, and, and the other thing it leads into is right now, like we were saying with the hangout, we're okay. all of us are okay at the moment. We're all given benefits. Like if you're self-employed, you get a grant. Um, those that have got jobs, their jobs are being paid and kept open right now. But I mean, when you keep putting masses of money in, all you're doing is devaluing everything, devaluing it and devaluing it. That's what I see. What do you reckon? Yeah, I agree. And and they're printing out money that uh, there's nothing to back it. So they're just printing money out. And, and you know, it's going to ruin the economy because there's nothing to back. They just keep printing the money, but there's nothing to back it. And that's the way I see it. And, you yeah. know. and do you know something? That means prices are going to have to come down. Whatever they're doing right now, they're going to have to all drop their prices. They're all, you know, like the mortgage straight away went, we'll give everybody a three month holiday. All the mortgage companies are just giving everybody three month holidays. Yeah. yeah. On their mortgage. I mean, like, right. what is going on here? This is all organized. I'm telling you, this is all yeah, organized. Yeah, it is. It is all organized because they know that the people can't pay. There's no money coming in for them to pay that. Yeah, so they're not going to right. magically take and, a break. And, and, right? and they'll, pro they'll probably get go government subsidies in the end, probably. Yeah, yes. the government are paying. Like, the government are paying grants out. The government are paying money. Right. How can they pay for everything? Well, because in, in the long run, we're going to be paying that back, obviously. Right. And that's the problem here. It'll be yes. a debt that's going to be a mass that we, the, the taxpayer, will have to pay, obviously. Yes, and, and I think also that they um, want us to be dependent on the government. And yes. if we have to rely on them for money, you know, then they are controlling, you know, they control our purse strings. So yes. uh, they're making us to be dependent on the uh, yes. government even more. So it's really a bad thing. It is, um, it is a bad thing. Yeah. And you know what's really weird is, even even that video I showed a few weeks, well, a couple of months ago, remember Boris is in the shop. Now, we're not sure how long ago that was. It could have been yeah. leading up to the election. But that's only in the last couple of months. And he's going, yeah. everything's going to get better with me. And they've led us this materialistic, narcissistic thing over here with, with fake heroes, millions and millions of pounds the footballers get. There's all this, all of that going on and they've chopped our legs off and now we're going to be completely different yeah. now they took us to yes. the money you know being materialistic and now we'll have to go the other way exactly Terrible. and yeah and oh yeah and we've got the debt so as well we've got all the debt before we you know we've got the debt going into this a lot of us have got the debt that's start, great to start with and yeah and um you know, uh, President Trump had said, you know, he ran on the slogan, make America great again. 
and yeah. um, how is this making America great again? And uh, there's a, a preacher from Minnesota, I'm not Minnesota, Mississippi, one of the poorest towns in the whole United States of America. And he was holding a drive-by church service and about 20 cop cars showed up and they told him that, you know, if the people show up for it, that um, they'll give them a chance to leave, but then they're, but if they don't leave, then they'll get a ticket. And they told this minister, the police officers told the minister that your race has been suspended. And he said, no, our race has not been suspended. They can't do that. Our race comes from, from God himself and our yeah. first and second amendment. Isn't it amazing how said, everybody is taking a different perspective on it? Because Amy knows I've been yes. doing these videos. You've got this one senator or, or she's, uh, yeah, I think she's saying she's going, it'll never be the way it was before. It'll always be social distancing. We're not going back. So we're heading to this very sterile thing. And then you've got yeah. this sheriff going on Tucker Carlson's show going, I am not enforcing the law. So, okay, they could be they could be different parties here, you know, one's one and one's the other, but everybody's reading something different. So how do you put it into place when everybody's going to read something different into it? Exactly. That's yeah, agreed. Right. And that, that minister, he said, um, you know, here I am. I'm just trying to hold a church service. He said, there is so much crime in this town. We've got drug dealers we've got murders that has not been solved and he said and here they've sent every police officer to the church house and you're you're messing with the church when all i'm gonna do is preach the word of yeah, god that happened on sunday said, amy one of those women with the placard she said look at all these police here they, i mean that the yeah. she didn't necessarily know the truth about everything but she's going these police officers they should be out looking at the, for the pedophiles what are they doing here you know, exactly. we just sent all That's... these police to that park. There's loads of them. There was probably about a hundred police there. Yeah. And and the minister at the end he says, What has happened to America? And I thought that's our that sounds right. like it's our new slogan, not make America great again, but what has happened to happened America? To America. Um, yeah. Yes. I said, Well, I even tweeted it to President Trump for whatever uh worth it is, but at least Listen, I'm I don't know what they I don't know what they're doing. Listen, I know that Jin's not quite into this, but Amy, I was looking at you know, it just comes in because that's I go there now and you know, to my homepage on YouTube, and this video came in, and it was Trump talking to this woman off Fox News again. So you've got Tucker Carlson going anti everything and talking there, but you've got everything that goes yes. the narrative everywhere else on Fox News. Yes. And um, what it was is I was looking at it and I was thinking, why is she bigger than him? The person who's interviewing Trump is bigger than Trump in the pictures. He's smaller. Wow. <laughs> what does that mean? He's to, you know, don't forget, we all think this is all happening and even a mention of a war so that Trump will get back in again because he's the hero who saved us. Um, so see what I mean? So why make him smaller than the reporter? <laughs> I know. I didn't see yeah. that. No, I've got it ready to go out. It's that, on on scramble. That, that is a good point. <laughs> You know, he's supposed to be yes. the next president as well. Like, why is he smaller than the reporter on Fox News? Right, I know. It really is crazy. And then I mean, it's Fox psychological. News... Most people might oh, not even sorry. notice it. It could be an exactly. error. It could just be an error. Just one of those things. But I noticed it. Yeah, it probably is psychological. Uh, you know, a psychological... Uh, means of uh, uh, telling us things. You know what, things. You know what video that I put out, he's saying that it's us that's making it happen. We're changing the narrative all the time. You know, we're, we're the trigger. Yes. Yeah, so people. It yes. So it should be. Yeah. So it and, should uh, be. Well, I, right. I think a lot of truth is we've stood back and hold our breath as we're watching all this crap happening in front of us. Oh, I know. And it's just, it's very frustrating. And I think uh, CC was saying about, you know, he just has to laugh at it from now on because, you know, instead of getting 
angry because I feel myself getting angry at the people who just go along with it. You know, just regular people that you see at the stores yeah, and everything. And I'm like, be your friends. <laughs> now you look yeah. at them. Like, they're one yeah. of them because they believe it. Exactly. Well, I've got some interesting news yes. for you guys. I've got some inter uh, interesting news regarding the vac the compulsory vaccinations. Um, there's been a landmark win against the government on compulsory vaccinations. I've, I've sent the link to um, yes, Karen. Yes, I heard something. In, yeah, in, in Skype. And I put the link inside on this uh, Hangout as well. Okay? Oh, I'll, add that. I'll add it to the Hangout. It'll be in the description. Yeah, can, you pres can you present it now? Just watch it. It's only five minutes. It, the woman's moved to tears. Please. Oh, I bet. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because it because it vindicates and then you're gonna be shocked when you hear what is they got. Something to... Chin. Yeah. Chin, is it something we could play? Well yeah, it's uh it's from do you know Tapper seven seven seven. He uploaded it the other day. Okay, you don't think he'll mind me mirroring it? Well, you know, like putting it on I could put it in now. I can put it right in now. Yeah, watch it now. Why don't we watch it now? Yeah, it's, you know. It's no, no, I can't, I can't watch it right now because it just won't happen. But I can put, I can video it and put it in this hangout now. Yeah, okay, we'll just yeah. do it. Yeah. Okay. So everybody will watch it now, okay? Now I'm going to press yeah. play for the video. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, please. <laughs> This is Lori. I'm coming on to celebrate our first big victory. Thank you. Thank you. John Franklin's widow sent me this link just now. Woohoo! This is our first victory, folks. Our first huge victory. And we have Robert F. Kennedy and Del Big Tree to thank for this. U.S. government loses landmark vaccine lawsuit. Monday, May 18th, posted by tapnewswire.com. Forced vaccinations now can be legally stopped. No quality control for 32 years. Wide ramifications for Australia. Go to this website to get more info. Case number 118CV03215, JMF document 18, filed 7918. Whoa filed on July in 2018. Uh, vaccine injury lawyer Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Del Bigtree, producer of the suppressed anti-vaccine vaccine documentary, Vaxed and the Informed Consent Action Network are credited with this victory. They demanded the relevant government documents proving that all federally approved vaccines had been tested for quality over the past 32 years, and there were none. Woohoo! Here are the huge legal and practical implications in this legal victory for the American people. A recent U.S. court case revealed there has been no quality control over vaccines manufactured by Big Pharma for at least 32 years. Autism rates are accepted to drop, are expected, this is a typo, to drop dramatically now that parents can stop the poison being injected into their kids. This means that the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and all vaccine makers have been lying to the American people for over 30 years about the effectiveness and safety of vaccines. This may ultimately mean that continuing the existence, at least in their current form, of five U.S. health care agencies are now in doubt. The CDC, the FDA, the IOM, the NIH, and the Health Department of DHHS. Where's the who? But maybe it'll come later. This may also threaten the existence of state medical boards and exclusive medical guilds like the AMA. Oh my God! This means that vaccine makers have been fraudulently exempt from what all other pharmaceutical drug makers have been forced to do concerning biannual recertification for quality and effectiveness, meaning that their vaccines have never been tested for quality and have no proven safety or effectiveness for over 30 years. This case can now be legally cited by all parents fraudulently mandated by any government organization, 
regulation requirements that they must vaccinate their children for school or any other activity to stop the forced vaccination of their children. This case can now be legally cited by all employees being mandated by their employers to be vaccinated in order to retain their jobs. I think I'm going to cry. This case can now be legally cited by all those who seek compensation for vaccine injury, making it likely that the pharmaceutical vaccine industry can in the near future be legally bankrupted out of their existence. Oh, yes! like Bear Monsanto after the landmark legal victory won by the dying landscaper in San Francisco several weeks ago, as well as their stock value plummeting precipitously. The future of allopathic medicine is in, in its current form is now in doubt, thank God, as well as that of the global pharmaceutical cartel, since almost all of the drugs allopathic practitioners prescribe come from the pharmaceutical corporations, which also committed vaccine fraud and injury. The existence of the deep state corporate mainstream news will now also be further endangered since 70% of their income streams from the global pharmaceutical cartel, which in America has been responsible for 750,000 to a million human sacrifices per year. My father was one of them, at least for the past half century. Autism rates will now plummet. All government officials who pass laws legalizing vaccine fraud at the state, national, or international level or otherwise aided and abetted this vaccine fraud can now be charged with vaccine fraud, criminal malfeasance, and in some cases war crimes under the Nuremberg Code. Oh my God. Folks, this is a major victory. This is a major victory. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Robert F. Kennedy. I am overwhelmed. Please spread this far and wide. Thank you. It's really good. Landmark win. It means that you can refuse to be vaccinated on the J J Robert Kennedy Jr. and some others won the case against the government on Monday this week. <coughs> Thanks to uh, Tapa777 yes, 777, yeah. who uploaded it. Brilliant upload that was, man. Cheers. Nice one. I've, I've been, I've, it's gone viral. With me, something, though. The, thing we, the thing we're learning this week is that it was a video I saw and this woman had these, she had the flu bar back and she got these spasms or something. She was quite a young woman. But then when mm -hmm. they met up with her a few weeks later, she'd returned to normal. And then when you watch her, you know that she's putting it on. You just right. know she oh, is. I saw and then one that. of those doctors, I think it's Fauci. Is it Fauci? I can't remember which doctor it is. One that's now telling us that Gates has gone and all that. Yeah. He's in the programme, interviewing and talking to her. They're all yes. a bunch of actors, the whole lot. Yeah, I think yeah. You, I think you mean Doctor Batar. That's it. They're all that's that's, it, they're because... all actors. All of them. Oh my God! There was yeah. that like everybody got a glimmer of hope that he was going to be the goody. He's now going against the government and all that. Right. And yeah. then when you look at it, he's an actor. Paid yeah. Actor. What it was. Paid actor. Amy, Amy, explain yeah. it to, to Jim. She was, uh, this lady uh, went and got some kind of a, I think it was a flu vaccine maybe, and right after she got right. it, uh, she started having these weird symptoms, like she was talking with a different accent, and also she couldn't walk frontwards. If she tried to walk frontwards, she'd be all over the place and falling down. Yeah, I saw it. But she could I saw walk it. backwards and side. Yeah, did you see that? Yeah, so I, what saw it. Said I saw was, it. I knew but, that was uh, a hoax. It was trying to make yeah, and once they figured out it was a hoax, yeah. then what they were trying to say was it made anti vaxxers look bad because look at this hoax that went on where she's saying yeah, the vaccine it was a hit. It was did a hit. all this. Job on us. Yeah. I know, it's yes. that doctor, it's in that video, talking, like, oh my god, yes. everybody had that glimmer of hope for him, and everybody's been watching his videos, he's another actor! 
Yeah. And he, yeah. he was the one that cured her or whatever, Dr. Batar. Uh, at the end, it shows that uh, he was able to cure her, but they figured out that the whole thing was a hoax anyway. So by them making a thing like that, a hoax like that, that made the uh, anti-vaccine uh, movement bad. It just becomes a bit hopeless, doesn't it? Yes. There's, no, there's no hope. We're the hope. We're the real people. We're the real ticket. Everybody you see yes. on the television that's coming towards you, they're all a bunch of actors. Right. They've all got their little part to play. Right, right. It's disgusting. Yes. Are, are you going to watch that video, Karen, or not? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to add it to the video. They would have watched it by now. Oh, okay, so we can't watch it here then, no? No, but we'll play it after the Hangout, I'll put it on, but I'm just not sure what will happen. I'll only be able to yeah, if you... listen to the volume, and you might want to watch pictures, so best thing okay, to do is... Okay, I see what you mean, yeah, we can watch it after the Hangout. Okay, well, let me just fill you in a little bit more as to what it's all about. Basically, it, it exposes the fact that for the last 32 years, no vaccine has been checked for its efficacy and safety for 32 years. Oh, yeah, Dr. yeah. I, think I told you this. Like a couple of, uh, basically, what they're supposed to do testing. But what it is, is each way they, they make the, the vaccine, the, not the vaccines, the medication, the body doesn't like it, or people are having um, effects Autism from it. Is okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, and this has been going on for a long time. So with vaccines, yeah. they don't have to. Te they have a lot less testing goes on, and it's like you want me to have that. No a lot less testing. Karen, Karen, no testing has gone on. Yeah. No testing has gone on for the last thirty-two years. So all those uh, parents who've had children who have been damaged by vaccines are vindicated now. Okay. It's come to it's come to light that they yeah. haven't done any efficacy or any. Safety but guess testing. what, Jin? Jin, we've been to the moon. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we've been to the moon. We've been to the moon ten times, apparently, and we're yeah. going back. And we're going back. But we don't. We don't test. We don't test the chemicals that they're shoving in our body. And you know, when you think about it, because you know, we're part of that glutton. You know, we're the generations they did it to. But when you think. Yeah. I'm not really eating anything real anymore. It's all in plastic. Well, Everything's in yeah, plastic. It's not food. It's exactly. You're not even eating food. Now they said right. they said that this. Uh, look, look, look. To, we're now going to see autism numbers dive down, drop down sharply because people are not going to have their children vaccinated anymore. What with what with what's come yes. to life? Okay. And companies. You know like what? The Can FDA, I just say one thing? Can I say one thing? Jin, yeah. do you know about, about yeah. autism? You, you know, you've got the lighter range and you've got those that are very heavily autistic. I'm yeah, not talking yeah. about oh, those. I know autism, yeah. But a lot that. of people will just be, will, like, let's say that the spectrum will be that you've got autism. Yeah. But I think those people just have a different fre a different frequency, and that's what it is. You know, like the ADHD. Yes. These have frequency they can't yeah. control. Yeah, but they've been damaged. by the main point here is that they've been damaged by the uh, vaccines, so compensation is going to come. Yeah. They said that the pharmaceutical industries are going to be sued to bankruptcy levels, okay? Those are the, that's the language they're using, okay? And there's going to be legal redress. It means you can refuse mandatory uh, uh, vaccinations on the grounds of this breakthrough, this land, landmark win against the government. 32 years is a long time not to be testing for any safety. 32 years. That's crazy. You know what? I was just thinking about it. You know, like CC saying that it's it, everything's changing. It's because of the people, and you're thinking, really, yeah. we just locked ourselves. I know. I understand what he means. Yeah. But wouldn't it be nice if new world order actually did mean something really good for the people? Yeah. And it was balanced and in harmony. You know, like then we wouldn't mind having it if it was real and it was good. But it's not. It's all just a system to control us and lie right. to us. Yeah, it's a new world order, a new style of right. imprisonment yeah. using technology. That's what it is. Technological Do you know what I realised? Boris was using this word pluralism. Pluralism means doing things together with a bunch of people. Yeah. So, we're all, so he, what he was basically saying was the new world order without using the words. He just yeah. used pluralism instead. Do you see that yeah. clever? Thank you, Karen. Yeah. See the clever play on the words again, the language. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, also, then... so I think there is something happening, by the way. You know, when I just said that we, there was this in reporter talking to Trump, 
Now he yeah. was talking about the world and he was going, oh, we look after everybody. You know, NATO doesn't pay us any money. And then he was saying, well, basically they were talking about, well, maybe China has to have different rules and regs now after all this, you know, and they, they're trying to take over the world and all that. And then he talked about London and he was a bit like Trump's going, no way is it going to London. And I'm thinking, well, what's happening here then? I thought they're all bosom buds and they work together. I know, I know it's part of the game, but in this in this meeting, when when Boris is saying pluralism, he talks about things. It's to the UN, I think. And I'm thinking, why is he talking about our rights there like that? You know, he's talking about our rights and stuff. Anyway, yeah. and then I thought he went, UK, London is tech, high tech, brown tech, whatever it was, whatever tech there is, we've got it. So what's happening then? Is London taking over or something? London's the main capital for the prison at the moment. I would, I, you know, <laughs> capital central. Is London <laughs> taking over? Is Boris <clears throat> taking over yeah. the world or something? Because Trump's going, no, 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 no. And I can get hard. You know, that's the video I'm waiting to go out. It explains it all in there. And then when you think right. he's smaller than the reporter, listen to the stuff. It's got millions and trillions and billions of money. That's what they're talking. That's what he's talking about. Billions. It's just yeah. hard to fathom, isn't it? Even the amount of money. Billions and trillions. Oh, no. He didn't say trillions, but he's talking about billions. Yeah. I can get billions of dollars, he's going. They've given me billions of dollars. You know, like... No, yeah. What? Probably trillions. <laughs> well, right. yeah. I'm just saying, the just they they can do this, how they can manipulate things. And I'm thinking, why is Trump talking about... It's like... Suddenly, I realised through Richard D. Hall when he had up the countries that were taken over and most of them were Muslim. And there's reasons why they went into the countries, whether it was uh, Lockerbie or it yes. was... Right, I remember Lockerbie. That, uh, was, that would be Nuclear Libya. weapons, which we know don't exist. You know, there's a list of reasons. But you know what? When they got to the Red Rings, just across was China. Now, Richard D. Hall in 2013 and 14 reckoned it was Malaysia they were going to go to for. That's who he thought that they would go for. But it's still the middle, you know, it's still Asia. They didn't go for Malaysia at the moment. They've gone for China. But they were going for Iran. It's like, what yeah. is all this? Yeah. It, he, I think what he was saying, because uh, in any Muslim country, that they're so uh, dedicated to their faith that it would be hard to get them to join into a new world order that revolves around money and things like that because they don't yes. they don't really care about that they can't, they are so dedicated to their faith so they're not going to easily uh want to be adapted into any kind of a new world order that's based on all this uh different kind of economic system and everything so that they that's they right. want to just yeah, there's so much, uh, their faith would be stronger than, you know, wanting to get into that, which I thought was a good thing. And that's why they were trying to I know, that, that Richard D. Hall video is, is an hour long, and maybe that's quite a long time for people. And I'm not saying everything he's talking about is new in that video about the media mm. version and whatever, a couple of videos ago now, probably. Um, but when you listen to what he's talking about, everything he's talking about has also happened or not happened. You know, like whether we changed it or it's happened. And uh, all, that was 2013, yeah. 2014. And I, I think one of them was 2018. But he's been talking about this stuff. Uh, he's not a flat earther, though. Yeah. That's the problem. I, I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. But I think I watched that one last night, Karen. Uh, it was about an hour Yeah, when you, when you hear yeah. about what he's talking about and how, you know, because we understand it, but a lot of people don't realise that they've been manipulated into it. And he explains yes. it all. And he's very anti 9-11, 7-11, you know, but he just doesn't doesn't believe the other thing. <laughs> he believes right. in aliens. Right. Yeah. But I love Yeah, that's what I mean. You can't trust version. him. You can't trust him. Yeah, you, know, you can't trust him because he's bringing in that kind of quirky stuff as well. You know, yeah, and you know, know something else that was a little bit weird. The couple he used on the video about un unemployment benefits were on the Jeremy Carl show quite a few times. So you never know. They oh. could have just been actors again. Yeah. yeah. But, well, it was... Their relationship, what it was is that woman in it breaking up with this person and then she had an affair with that one. It was about three or four episodes. Like, they've been on three or four times in the Jeremy Carl show. Why would you be on that benefit thing and also on 
Do you see what I mean? It's a bit. Mm, yes. Yeah. A bit too convenient. Same couple, you know. Yeah. It'd be nice to see different people coming on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, so that's a bit, and he was useful, but. They want people to participate in the program to show what life is like when benefits and uh, but the way they worded it like they when they put the announcement out they worded it in such a way that um, I, I think it was trying to show uh, like how people uh, I do understand what you're going to say happy, he, he got asked he got asked to do something a few years ago, right? But he wouldn't do it because what he said was, yeah. I'll do the Channel 5 programme, but I want to have some of the rights on the editing. And that keeps him abreast with what's um, going on. Because what, what they do is they take footage and I'm going, I might be saying, I might be talking about something completely different, but when they put it together, it now says, it's out, I'm laughing. I'm going, oh, don't be, they can make it look any way they want. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I knew it was making you know, it like it's not like, so bad. Living. You know, like if you if you think oh, about yeah. it, like even they did Michael Jackson. You know, like they're portraying that he's a complete madman, and yet he just you know I mean that's yes. the way they like to do things. They just yeah. Yes. yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, in one sense, you know, Michael Jackson had lupus and was wearing all these masks to cut, you know, and whatever it was to cover his skin. Why weren't we talking about that? No, he's wacko Jacko. You know, th right. this is how they like to do things. That's they, right, yeah. Yeah, it's just media hype. Yeah. They just play on it. And they, Absolutely. And so, you know, like, they just... They just use all the stuff you didn't think they were going to use. Exactly. That's right. They're evil how they do it. It is very manipulative. And uh, I think it was in that video... And that they is what's happening showing... to us now. This is what's happening yes. to us now, but maybe maybe CC's right with the fact that we are the reason it's changing because Trump keeps going left, right, left, right, left. You know, he keeps, know. He keeps changing. Yeah, well, that's because that's I all know. part of the plan, isn't it? It's all part of the schedule. Remember, Trump is not his own man. There is right. nothing Trump's doing that he's doing off his own initiative. No, I'm sorry. He's got a script and he's got to follow it. That's what he's doing. Well, he can't, he's Jim, because he's script. Elon Musk. Elon Musk plays him. Oh, well, there you go. With a mask on. <laughs> or, yeah. or, or it's virtual reality. But to, to, do, to watch it, like, if you're watching this, don't people keep saying that he's changing? I'm not quite sure that Boris is changing so much, but Trump keeps saying one thing one minute, one minute, and he, now he's, it's China's fault. It's all China's fault. How could he say that on 0.03%? Percent, yeah. right? The smallest yeah. amount of people who got it were in China after we saw them being, you know, welded into their houses, all the bodies dumped on the street. Like, how can that we, we be shown that and they get 0.3 percent? Right, come on, everybody, it wake proves, up. yeah, it does prove to you that they're massaging the numbers. It's all been a Not just that, and they're all working together, they're all playing together. Yeah. What about the two doctors that came from California? I think one of them was known as Dr. Erickson, and he was from the Scandinavia. Do you remember? Yes. Two doctors that came on yeah. and gave us the numbers and all the statistics. He says, I'm not here pointing the finger at anybody. You know, that's not what it's about here. What it's about is this. We're going to, be, we're going to notice a pattern. We're going to compare New York and all the other states with Europe and what's happening, all right? And when they, when they put the numbers out, he said, you're going to get lots of Lots of, um, what's the word we got? Um, infections, let's say, but very few deaths. And when he, when, he, when he showed us the patterns, straight after that, he says, now this is your percentage of contracting it. And he said, 0.003%. I went, what? <laughs> no chance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then the next day, the video has gone. We're in a parallel <laughs> universe or something's going on here, isn't it? <laughs> it's all really strange. Like, how can right. people believe it's a Pandemic on 0.03. In, in this one thing, this guy said to get it, you, it's six, it's one in sixty six thousand four hundred. I mean, like, that's not a pandemic, is it? It's not. Right. Is it? So, yeah. so the doctor said, "Does it warrant shutting down businesses, not going to school, stay at home? What is this? It didn't happen in the SARS virus. What's going on now?" That's what he said. What that's right. 
Was it worth all this? No, it out? wasn't. And he said, government overreach were his words. I thought, yeah, right. And then two days later, yes. two days later, I think, two to three days later, the video was taken off. <laughs> yeah. well, do you know what I'd like right now, Jim? I'd like the whole lot of them rounded up and taken to prison. That's what I want. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. That's great. Uh, this absolutely. is absolutely evil to the people, to the max. This is the worst thing you could have done to the people. This is worse than even saying we've gone to I the know. moon. You know? I absolutely. agree. Yeah. It's just awful. Well, my daughter, she had some uh, elective surgery last week. And um, when I went to pick her, well, we weren't even allowed to stay in the waiting room, which they hadn't told us that. And uh, that was kind of awful because she was going under a general anesthesia. And, you know, you like to be in the waiting room with your loved one. Oh, no, you have to leave yeah. because of the coronavirus. And then when we went to pick her back up, um uh, so the lady was stand the nurse was standing outside with her mask on and um i had my mask because i didn't want them telling me that you know i couldn't go in and see my daughter so i had the mask even though i wow. don't you know like to wear them but the lady said something and um, oh because my, my sister said because my daughter was supposed to have this surgery in april but it got postponed because of this uh corona thing so then they wound up doing right. it last week and my sister just said you know uh, if you weren't ready to open up to the point that visitors can wait in the waiting room you really probably shouldn't have opened at all and then the, the nurse said well you know it was her decision and everything and then i just said to the lady i said listen i said this whole thing is uh it's a pandemic now first i said all of this uh you can't catch a virus I said, and anyway, right. it's a pandemic anyway. I said, and she looked at me like I was crazy. And I said to her, don't look at me like I'm crazy. I said, this is a pandemic. And Amy. Control. Ooh. Yes. I, I usually don't talk that way, but <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said on, this yeah. is just to control the people and they want to bring in a new world world order and that's what this is all about well and then she that's said fantastic. we're just oh thank you and it, she said well we're just following the orders from the government from the oh, governor there you go. i said tell that governor to go jump in the lake you know what, how, how needs to go. <laughs> how does this here? all work because i put that i put this video out didn't i and it said everybody who's been arrested in the covo thing will their charges will be dropped because they're yes. unlawful Yes, exactly. I They're unconstitutional. That, unconstitutional. That's what they are. They Un moved us. On Saturday, I didn't record it because it happened so quickly. And they may have come over to us because we did have some cans of beer and they were moving the drunks along. Um, but basically, oh, Amy's just dropped off. Um, basically, yeah, she's right here. The police officer was telling us to move. And I said, well, you're not socially distancing yourself and you haven't got masks on. And he said, we, we don't have to. He said, uh, so basically he's saying the, op the operation that they were doing means that they don't have to abide by those laws. And you're like, so it's okay for you not to wear masks and stuff. It's okay for you like, not to social distance yourself. It, it, it should but be dangerous. If it's dangerous for us, it should be dangerous for them. Period. Right. They haven't, they haven't I didn't taken record any it. You know, it just happened and I just didn't record it. But they moved us on yeah. anyway. We we hung around. We did hang around. But anyway, do you remember? Do you remember Darren Nesbitt? Darren Nesbitt. Yeah. Yeah. He, well, he was on a video the other day, right? Where the police came in and busted up their drink up, and they were having a drink up, little picnic, and the police come along. Yeah, and that was the London up. Eye. The London Eye meet. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I was glad to see Darren Nesbitt. I like him. Yeah. You know, he, he hadn't changed much. He was still shouting out. Yeah, I was talking, like, one of the persons, they, they basically, there was about five policemen on him, and they just straight put him on the ground. Yeah. His yes. name was Mark. I was talking to him on Saturday. Yeah. And then another yeah. person who got wrongfully arrested, he was there at the London Eye. He, we were talking to him on Saturday as well at, at uh, Hyde Park. Right. That yeah. I really, I really enjoyed that, because Gary was so happy, because 
nobody was social distancing whereas you're thinking look mask 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 hardly anybody was wearing masks in there there were people wearing yeah. masks but the ratio would really drop and there was there must be the banners man it's there must be at least 500 people there well wow. at least if did, not more no, because Karen, someone said to me someone did said to me video this Karen? yeah yeah it's on the channel but someone said to me Oh, I don't think there's that many here. I said, look in front of you. That little group there has got 10 people in them. So there could have been 1,000, 2,000 people there. I'm saying there was a lot of people in there. Yeah. All right. breaking the rules, all knowing something's wrong. It was brilliant. Yeah, yes. nice. Defiance. It's necessary. Absolutely. And it was getting annoying, though. We were there for about three, four hours before the police. They were there, but suddenly more of them came in and they broke it all up. Yes. And also, there was like, oh, there was this great big, I was necessary. talking to someone, and there was a great big crowd of people. And the next thing is, two seconds later, they'd all started marching around the park. So you never know whether a troll made them walk around the park. So it was easier for the police to knock people off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's if we were all congregating right where Speaker's Corner, where all that bit right there is, it would have been hard. But you put everybody in the open, you can surround them. That's right. So I, I had a feeling, you know, I'm not saying everybody went, but the big crowd of people who were talking, they all went off round the park. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, it yeah. was a good day and it was good to see so many people and quite a few people have made videos. So it's I called it my video freedom because, yeah, they did move us, but yeah, it was freedom. Yes. Yeah, I just love when I see people. Oh, they moved you along, did they? Did they move you all along in the end, did they? In the end, they did, yeah. And, I mean, loads of people turned up. And the van said, like, terrorists, like we were terrorists. Yeah, yeah. That was on Awful. their van. Terror, whatever it was, you're like, oh. Yeah. 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 And this was what, yeah. at Hyde Park called? This was at but Hyde you know Park called? There needs to be more of them. Yeah, Hyde, there needs to be more of them. Maybe you do one in a... A month's time or two months' time, you need the, more no, of month, these things. Two months too long. And and, and the months. guy in it, he was so great. He said, "What is happening right now is we are protesting to have the protest. You know, that's where we are. We're back yeah. there fighting yeah. for our yeah. rights. Protesting that's right. to exactly. protest. Exactly. We that's haven't protested right. yet. We're just protesting to protest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah." So I, I really like, you know, and then there was another guy, you know, and he was talking about, and it was just great that so many people had worked it out. Oh, I know. I, I, I like the uh, girl you interviewed, uh, Karen. She was from Hungary and she was talking about rights and everything. And she was there. Do you remember who I'm talking about? She was. Yeah, dressed, I do. Oh, she, she also went. She went yeah. to the London Eye, that lady. But anyway, yeah, carry on. What did you carry on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She was very vocal uh, in in the annoyance of the police. You know, and she had to yes. she had to run away from the police because they were going to come and arrest her, basically. Yeah. She said she had to move along, yeah. Yeah, if you oh, imagine, yeah. you were sitting in the park, she's there, the lady with the, the one, like, no vaccines and you could put me on a COVID ward. I do it because there's no such thing as a, as all this problem. They, these people were right next to us. You know, I would, did walk around a little bit, but then that group of people went off round round the park. So, you know, yeah. we, we probably could have yeah. talked to many more people, because but they'd all gone off. Yes. Yeah, I think but it's it was, a good idea to just, move around. It was just great, because you think, how many people are going to turn up? Just a few. But the, uh, as I said, there was 10 people in one little party. There was hundreds of these little groups sitting yeah, everywhere. You know I, think yeah. that that happens. You should I think you should walk around the park and demonstrate your banners as you're walking around the park, getting your exercise. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, you know? yeah it could be used as a mart, couldn't it? You yeah, know, like that's right. That's what you've got to do. Because you, you're, 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 yeah, that's, that's what you should be doing. Walking around, spreading the news all the way around the Hyde Park. Do one circle. Yeah, but they'll twist it. They'll twist what really happened because the people. There was a. I realised when we were sitting down, and I said, "Why are they chanting? What are they chanting?" And then Gary and that said, oh, "I think they're just going for freedom." But they were going, "Get rid of Fauci." That's what they were actually saying. Get rid yeah, of. <laughs> right. yeah. But Fauci it was peaceful. I know that they were chanting that. Get rid of Fauci. But mm -hmm. it was peaceful. 
Yeah. Well, you had good weather for right. it anyway, didn't you? You were lucky. You had good weather. Yeah, for it. so it was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, they had nice weather. Yeah, I, I was so glad. And the real my weather was, was horrible. When I, when I turned up on Friday, me and Marilyn walked through the park where she is. It's still quite a big park. And when we were walking through, I said to her, oh my God, look how many people are sitting yeah. on the park because they'd lifted the rules a bit. There was hundreds of people on the park yeah. sitting there. Right. Like, oh my God, look, there's people. Because <laughs> there's been no people. Yeah. I know. But who, who would have... Where, where, where is Marilyn? Where does Marilyn live then? Sorry, Amy. Um, oh, my goodness. You'd have to ask Lee for that one. Um, well, how could you forget? Well, oh. she lives... She... Yeah, she lives... She it's lives London, about... but it's right outside yeah, of it. Lee think, lives yeah. sort of central London, and she lives a bit more to the south. Um, oh, right. Oh, hey, my like, yes. like, like, like Oh, something it's... green. Oh, something what? green is the tube stop. Something green. Bethnal Green? No. Stockley Green? No. Is it North Croxley Green? No. All oh, right. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to look that up now and I'll tell you. But um, yeah, so anyway, um, yeah. Anyway, listen, we've been going oh, oh, for an hour. Is it right Parsons now. Green? Parsons Green? No. no. I'll yeah, look it up for you in a minute. But we've been going for an hour. We are coming back on Sunday to carry on with CC. Do you think we should? This will be enough for today because we're back on Sunday to okay. have another one. All right. Yeah. No worries. That's, yes. that's good. You wanna, sure. Do you want a few minutes each? Do you want to? Gin, Amy, Amy first. Ladies first. Amy? Yeah, obviously. Oh. Oh, well, it's been a pleasure as always having this hangout with you and Jen and. Uh, I'd be glad to have it again when Sunday, when Cece can join us. But um, yeah. yeah, I just I wish more people would just wake up and see what what is wrong with all of this and how this is not about a virus. It's about taking our uh, rights away. Yeah. And I saw a comment on a video They've done somewhere. It, Amy. They said, They've done it. To, they said to yeah. They because said to the think now, that America. Bell. Sorry, we're in a new set of laws. Yeah, they said, right, and, and somebody made this comment. I thought it was really good. They said, to think that America has fallen over the common cold, like in other words, the common cold brought America down, and it's yeah. not just here, it's, you know, all over the world, you know, and no matter where we live. Yeah, ridiculous. We're seeing pretty much the same rules, you know. We're all kind of living under the same thing. Amy, we but watched that one. They that own is the sky, they own the land, they own the yes. sea, they so own us, they own the businesses. The We're a commodity. We're a commodity. Yes, yes. And we own nothing right now. We are just stuck in this. I know. Yeah. I've tried to do everything I can to, you know, protest it, um, not go along with it. Um, Karen had made a video about don't update your phone uh, because that's when they're going to start using it for the contact tracing. So I shut off that's my right. yeah, I'm not interested updates. In that. Right. Yeah. So I'm trying Sorry, to do interested. everything I can. And you know, make people aware. It gets very tiring. Can I just say that, that, that update? Many... That update isn't just for iPhones. The person that put it out, P nine hundred Coolpix, she said it's the date. The updates that are coming right now. Everybody, don't go for them. Don't update your phone. None of yes. us. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's not an iPhone I... users. It's everyone. Yeah. Yes. Good point, guys. Yeah. Don't update yes. because it's because. Uh... So I'm just doing whatever little whatever little thing I can do to, you know, not make it easier for them to promote their agenda. And I guess that's about what we have to do, is just try to take every stand that we can to not promote the agenda. So that's what I would like to say, if we can just try, uh, keep up Amy, and keep our out? strength. You, Amy, listen, you and I know that when we were looking at the Watts case, it got us into looking on the internet to see whether what they were saying about the people. And we yeah. realised that there's no, there's no database of birth certificates in America. 
Yes. So if we can't so, even get birth certificates on the date as a data thing, how the hell can they enforce the rest of these things? Exactly. So do you think some of it is a fear factor to, to put fear, like we can do this and we can do that and, and put more fear into the people? Is that what you think? Goodness um, knows what, what they're doing. Goodness I know. <laughs> I know. The script changes on a daily thing and we notice that in the Watts case, that they could change it, do this, bring this in, bring that out. Yes, it changes on a daily basis. Yeah. At least. <laughs> so but I think we just have to keep our eyes open to it. People are telling me to, you know, take a break from it and everything. But I feel like I have I have responsibility to keep my eyes open and be aware of what's going on. Yeah, I don't want to turn the blind eye to it, you know. So I'm just trying to stay strong and uh, it, it, it's up... so hard to shut yourself off though and I find that oh I'm making oh, another is. video oh I've got another point a point to make or it's very hard I know but you know what? it is they want us in the whirlwind don't they so you've got to stay on the outside and just get on with your life as best as possible and don't turn yes. the television yes. on and wake exactly. up exactly exactly I'm with you true. Amy everybody wake up please Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I second that as well, yeah. Or I third yes. that, should I say. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you. else you want to say, Amy? Oh, well, I, I think that's it, yeah. Oh, yeah, lovely just... Amy. When I first met Amy, she was so shy and reserved. And now look at her. She's an ambassador. I would call it ambassador. I can't say the word. Not ambassador. Ambassador. Uh, oh, oh, ambassador, yeah. Ambassador, yeah. And oh, ambassador. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, Amy, but, yeah, thank you so you much for that. Amy, I'm, about... I'm glad you said that to the nurses. You're welcome. I'm glad you gave the nurses. What about nurses, you, nurses, Jim? Thank you. I'm glad you gave them a piece of your mind because it's definitely time. And for them to say, oh, we're just oh. following orders. So, if, so basically, you're following orders and you're killing people. Oh, that's really good. Exactly. That's really good. That's right. You know? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, what, what's what's troubling me, what's troubling me as a black African born in England, living in Japan, is that um, they're saying that black people together with Asians are more susceptible to this virus, which is like a load of horse shit. That's rubbish. Yeah. Right. I haven't been sick since 1991. And that was when I went to Morocco and I, had, I got diarrhea. I didn't take any medication for it. I just kept eating, kept pooing, of course. And when I left, two days later, I recovered. Okay? Haven't been sick since that day. So for them, to, to, I haven't had a cold, a cough, a blocked nose. I've had nothing since then. Okay? Well. So as far as I'm concerned, well. they are lying. They are targeting us black people. And what I say to the black people, get out there, do your exercises. I'm dressed. I'm going to be going to do my exercise like I've been doing all these years. Nothing's changed. So I want to see you out there to prove them wrong, that we don't die from the viruses. It's, we know that the white people themselves, their DNA is slightly different. They age faster than us. That's a fact. I've seen it. People know that. I don't know how they can say that we are more susceptible. Yeah? When you look at us, when you look at me, like I'm now 58. People who are 58 look worse than I am because they're not looking after their health. They're dying quickly. So all I'm saying to the black brothers and sisters, get out there and do your exercises because they're deliberately attacking us. How is it that we can be more... Do you successful? think it's... Jin, Jin, do you think it's the colour or do you think it's the blood? The type of blood? It's, it's the type of blood and the colour, of course. But what I'm trying to say to you is this. We don't yeah. get colds like that. That's a lie. They're targeting us, okay? I haven't been sick in, in yes. 1991. And the last time I went, before that, I wasn't sick for ages. I've had one injection wow, that's... to Africa as a booster because I went to Africa, Morocco, in 1991. So I haven't been sick yeah. since that day. So how can they say that we, wow. we 
Africans and Afro-Caribbeans are more susceptible to the COVID-19. The only thing, is, the only thing is, if you actually saw it on the media, then you've got to ignore it because it's just part of their propaganda. That's the only thing. Right. right. Remember? But, but, it goes but, but, on but, and on but, and on, the lie. On and on and on on and on and all the games and the yes. you know the paper play noticed, Dallas dynasty yeah i have noticed though that my yes. brothers and sisters sisters are very quick to listen to what they're being told and believe in it my what i want to see what i'd like to see is more black brothers and sisters out there doing their exercises prove them wrong yes. i'm doing it on a, on a weekly right. basis weekly exercise 58 I can do me pull-ups, I do me chip, press-ups, leg raises. I think actually everybody should be doing it. Exactly. Yes. Them wrong. Come on, sit that's there really... and uh, take the lies. Anyway, that's all I've got to say on that matter. It's been lovely being with you girls and uh, looking forward to oh, Sunday. Yes. With CCC, continuation, part two. Yes. More to come, folks. Yes. More to come. Yeah. Sorry about the rant on so the black much. and white Thank thing. I'm so not really much. like that. <laughs> I'm not really a black and white, black and white thing. I'm just emphasizing that they've, they've shot across my bow a big light and I want to hit it back over their, their fence, okay? And motivate black people to get up and exercise to prove them wrong. That's all. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Well, yes, and I, I say for the rest of the world, Jin's message for the rest of the world. Amy, it's been an absolute pleasure. Mwah. Oh, Jin. thank you. Mwah. 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 Into the Ethernet for CC. The CC, yeah, and Cece. we're coming back. <laughs> we're coming back on Sunday to continue having a hangout with him. Anyway, yeah. thank, yeah. You so you. Thank, you. thank you so much, yeah. guys. Oh, Everybody, fuck hard. Don't give yes. up, everyone. Do not give up. That's we're in great. this together. The fact is, we're yes. in this together, and that's what we got to do, you know? Put me exactly. in the front of the row. When the revolution happens, I'm front seat, number one. Hey, we've it? just lost Amy there. But Jim, yeah. Amy, Cece, and to the chat room. Thank you very much. Yes, you guys and dolls in the chat room. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back, as Arnold said. Stick around. We'll <laughs> All right, Jin. Uh, bye, everybody. Yeah, bye now, guys. <laughs>